guys, it's me Jen. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I have something very exciting to share with you. I'm here at the Yokohama Bay Sheridan Hotel and they're having a strawberry fair going on. You can see right here. They put this on the table. I guess this is kind of not like Tokyo um, for my series Jennifer Eats Tokyo, but today I'm in Yokohama. This is kind of like my stomping ground. I live in Yokohama. So I've seen this on Instagram. A friend of mine came and I figured why not treat myself, take myself out and enjoy a crap ton of strawberries. So I'm here in this lovely huge table by myself and the buffet starts at three, so I'm gonna go grab some sweets now. Well, I can see it starting. Let's go grab some sweets. I have no chill. They have all the labels at the front when you pick them up. So this is kind of like a pistachio strawberry cake. This is some kind of tart, another strawberry cake. This is a strawberry pie. We got a cream brulee. We have a Yokohama famous jelly here. And this looks like it's something with almond and strawberry. As well as this kind of looks like a shortcake. They also have a strawberry looking pizza, as well as they have some savory things going on. So I did pick up some savory things and coffee because you know me. Let's start with some savory things and then we're gonna get on to strawberries. There's one dessert that I'm super looking forward to that I haven't got my hands on yet because it's the dessert that everyone wants, but I'll get my hands on it after. I'm gonna pretend to be a lady, put this on my lap. For this one, this kind of patty here, it's almost like pickly, like a pickle, like a relish. It's really good. I like that. Now let's go into the second savory thing. It's almost like a wrap. It looks like a chicken wrap. Okay, you can see it's literally falling apart. We're just gonna one bite this. I really like that one. There's chicken on it, but I can also taste bobo. So bobo in English is burdock. I love mozzarella and tomato. You can use a little salt and pepper, but it's delicious. Let's get on to a bit of the sweet stuff that we have here. This was intriguing to me. The strawberry pizza here. Mm. It's super sweet. It almost reminds me of Pizza Hut dessert pizza. It's almost like a custard or an egg is on top with the strawberry, and it's actually really good. I would eat this. I have to say, while I'm just sitting here enjoying the view that's right in front of me, you can see all of Yokohama Bay, you can see Yokohama Station, because this hotel is actually located like literally a two minute walk from Yokohama Station. I can see airplanes taking off or coming in because Haneda Kuko, Haneda Airport, is very near. Let's go into this thing right here. This is a strawberry, kind of looks like a shortcake. There might be some mango or something inside, I don't know what it is. I think it's mango. That is good. Say like 50% whipped cream. And then the rest is cake and mango. Not so much strawberry. There is a strawberry on top, but it's really good. It's gonna be hard to choose a favorite already. The strawberries are good. They're almost like candy. I feel a little bit overwhelmed. I don't know what to choose. <laughs> Let's go into the tart. Tarts are my favorite kind of sweet. That is really good. That's like a 9 out of 10 for me. Okay, I'm gonna go into this pistachio. It almost looks like a tiered cake. I'm gonna pick up some strawberry with it. Really soft because the layers are almost like a different kind of mousse. And then a tiny bit of sponge cake on the bottom. But it's still really good. Not my favorite. Right, next let's dig into the strawberry cake. I don't find it really tastes like strawberry, just um, different layers of cream and this light fluffy cake. 
I want to go into the thing that I'm really excited for, which is this pie here. Because look at how divine this looks. It looks like different layers of crispy pastry with a little bit of almost like a custard in the middle. That's good. That's really good. It's like a 10 out of 10 for me because I like crunchy sweets, but the perfect amount of crispiness on the bottom with sweet on the top. All right, let's go into the brulee. I love a good creme brulee. Now, it's not gonna be that warm. Okay, so it's not so crispy on the top, it's a little soft. Interesting. It is a creme brulee, but there's a slight hint of berry in it. I didn't realize it was gonna be like a berry flavor. Okay, that one's not really for me. Now we're gonna try some of this jelly. It looks very interesting. Look at this jelly shake. The jelly is almost a little sour, and then the strawberry adds a nice little sweetness to it. I made it down to the last one on my plate until I go get the big dessert. This one almost looks like it has granola in the bottom with some strawberry. I'm assuming this is gonna be an almond kind of whipped cream. Mmm, actually it's chocolate. I think it's chocolate. Mm. <laughs> wow. This is by far the coolest thing here. You get strawberries, some ice cream with strawberry sauce, and a macaroon. And I love this, look at it. Whoa. Whoa. I think one of the best parts is that pieces of strawberry in this parfait are huge. Like half of strawberry, not a sliver, not a slice. It's a little bit on the sour side instead of sweet, but the vanilla ice cream gives it a nice little touch of sweetness to the sour strawberry. You know what I mean? Also the strawberry sauce is a little sour. That's good. It's nice. I killed it. It's almost done. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna take a little breather. It's been over an hour. I'm super full. All right, if you guys are interested in the Strawberry Fair 2020, it's running from January 11th to April 29th. And if you're interested in booking a table here, you can actually do everything online, which is exactly what I did and how I booked my reservation. And the buffet itself is two hours all you can eat, but last order is 15 minutes ahead of time, which is pretty standard for all you can eat restaurants here in Japan. All right, so here you can see the English reservation form. I found it a little bit difficult to use just because you have to physically go down and click that you want the strawberry sweets buffet first and how many people and then click the date up at the top and it'll tell you if the time and that date is available. And if not, you just have to keep scrolling. If it becomes a little bit too complicated, I would say just call the hotel because they do have an English line, someone that you can talk to in English. All right, so I got the bill. You can see for the sweets buffet, it's exactly 5,000 yen, which is a little over $50 Canadian for anyone wondering. All finished, I feel like that was really good. The only thing that would have made it more perfect is some champagne and some girlfriends to chat with, but instead I just decided to treat yourself because sometimes you just need to do that in life. So I'm heading out, it's about two hours for 5,000 yen, buffet, so all you can eat within two hours. It's a little bit more on the expensive side, but all hotels in Japan are like that. Let's do it. See you next time. If you guys are interested in anything that I filmed today, I will link everything down below the description box. You can find it there. This is running until the end of April. So definitely check it out if you love strawberries. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. All that jazz, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!